five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Welcome to Two oh. Girls, One Pod. I'm one of the girls. One of the other girls today is a special guest called... Heidi, Heidi Arena. <laughs> Welcome. We're recording on Wurundjeri Country today, which is Melbourne, Nam. Yes. yes. And you may not know that name. Mm. And that's okay because everyone knows people on TV where they're like, Oh, I know that person. Oh, I see that person all the time. Um, what's what's their name? Oh, I couldn't tell you. You're one of those people. Is that okay to be one of those people? Well, I just am one of those people. You are, but it's not a bad thing. No. Well, no. Because you're working all the time. <laughs> ba ba da ba ba da ba This is going to be loose and I'm loving it already. Now, for those listening, Heidi Arena is one of those actresses that, for me, I knew all the time. I'd see her in everything. I, I'm going to tell you a few of the things that she's been in. But I, I would see her and I liked a lot of the stuff she has done, but there was one particular show that <laughs> she was in with, unbeknownst to me, her best friend, Nicola Parry, mm-hmm. and she wrote it as well, <laughs> and that was called Private... Part-time Private. Part-time Private. <laughs> Privates or Private Eyes? Part-time... Oh, Private <laughs> Eyes. <laughs> My part-time Private is not for this podcast. <laughs> that is another that's, podcast. That's her only fan. <laughs> Don't you love it? The only show that I've written that's gone on TV and I've forgotten the title. <laughs> so far going so well. <laughs> We're going to talk about menopause soon. Oh, but <laughs> that's me all other private. <laughs> that was it on a 10 pilot week. It was. It was. It was so, yes, that was 10 pilot week. And Nikki was writing something with somebody else and I was writing something with somebody else and either thing sort of fell over. Oh. And then we said, Look, do you want to do something together? Yeah. And then, do you want me to talk? Do I keep on talking? Please. It's so funny I'm with Evie because usually we just talk over each other. I'm trying to be very polite. <laughs> I know. And I'm watching I love you. you just said, can I keep on talking? Do, do you want me to talk? <laughs> yes, please. This podcast worked really well that way. Just keep going. <laughs> Stretch is such a talent. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so you decided make yes. your own work. Yes, make our own work. And we thought, we've both got kids, we thought, God, it's so hard to work we want something between nine and three, which is yeah. impossible. Yes. And then we came up, we could private eye because we love gossiping, we love sleuthing. Yes. So it became out of necessity. Yes. So that's how the show came about. Now, it was only one ep. Yes, because it was pilot yeah. week. And who was in it? Because I know you two were, but there was a big name. Was it Brooke Satchwell? No, it was um, Nadine Garner. Nadine, oh. And Alex Paps. Can I tell you the story about yes, the please. two of them? Yes, so Henderson Kids. Henderson Kids. Home and away. Exactly. Go. But it was a weird thing because we went to our local cafe and in there was Alex Paps and Nadine Gunn having a coffee after years of not seeing each other. And they were having a coffee together and I was doing the fake taking a photo, sending it to Nikki going, oh, my, oh my God. God, they're in this cafe together. It's meant to be that we can get both of them. It is meant so, to be. So then I just photo bomb them like a my head looked like a potato. I'll show you the photo after it's just hilarious to this day. And they both said yes on the spot. That's how we got them both together. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Yeah. Meant to be. It meant to be, but it didn't get picked up. It didn't. Whatever. Well, no, but we won the ratings mm-hmm. and then COVID hit. Oh, 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 oh. So that's that so it was just very disappointing everyone. because then yeah. you know, I was in Sydney having a coffee about it going ahead and then yeah. and then it was locked down. Everyone was sitting saying, this is like the war, it'll blow over. This is, you yeah. know, it last drinks. Yeah. And then it really was And it really over. was all over. Mm. What a shame. Could it be picked up again? Well, there's, well, it's with somebody at the moment, is apparently. It, is it's it? come out of the blue. This that um first ever yes. new information. I know. I know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that, but it's very exciting. Because it's about women too. So you wanted to do, every week to have different <gasps> funny ladies on. You know, yes. Not always us. Just no. any great female talent doing a half hour comedy and we went all you know we went sort of like ab fabby because yeah we've had to do something you know different well i i (sighs) I really hope it you know we see it again on because i watched it and thought it was brilliant and i Mm. I loved like will you be in it i would i would totally be in it more than eight times um now i'm just gonna (laughs) read 
out a few of the things that you've done and then those listening will know probably. Well, they won't may still not know who you are, but they'll no. be like, oh, wow, she's done a lot it's of stuff. It's usually like if you've played netball with my cousin, that's what I normally get. Yeah. Well, that's what with Gogglebox we've got. We get the um, – do we go – do we work together? <laughs> do, do you have kids at, yes. at, at Blengarry School? <laughs> did you go to – the entrance high. And I'm like, yes, I actually did. <laughs> do we know each other? No, we do not. <laughs> Never seen you before. I'm wearing my sticker from the car way. park with you. I'm going to wear it forever. What you, you stick? Yeah, it's, it's the, the sticker to the radio. You have to get a photo together. I'm going to keep the sticker and stick it to my jacket. When you come into Nova, you've got to sign yourself in. Check in, they mm. call it. Mm. And um, I've just pushed my head into um, Heidi's photo. So it's just the two of us. It, it's a keeper. It's, it's, it's in the. It's, in it's the, a keeper. Sorry, go back to your All right, sorry. listen to this. Mm. Uh, the Secret Life of Us, one app. Mm. Well, mm. these are all mostly like one apps. Eight apps in Blue Healers. Mm. Um, Last Man Standing. That's, That's when I first started working for Channel 7. So I used to do publicity on uh-huh. that. Jeez. Kick, City Homicide. Oh Remember God, that? Old. Yeah, yeah. And We're I'm, going backwards. Wow. The Librarians. Oh, yes. You had a big role in that. That was a huge fun. You, were you in the wheelchair? Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> so anyone that's listening knows that show. Mm. Um, Robin. Robin Butler and Wayne but, Hope. And Wayne Hope. Yeah, very fun series. And they're good friends of yours. Oh, totally. Yeah, absolutely. So, yes. But that's not the reason that you're in it. It's because you're a bloody talented woman. <laughs> um, Offspring, hello. Oh, yeah. Um, Audrey's Kitchen. Now, we're going to get to Audrey's Kitchen in a minute, but mm. I'm just going to tell you a few more. Um, it's a Date, which was Pete Hellier's yes, show. Pete, yes. I really loved that show. Yeah, Nowhere Boys. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Am I just bringing you back memories right yeah, now? Yeah, because okay, it's good. weird because I'm 29, but anyway, go on. Upper Middle Bogan. Oh, yeah. Little Lunch. Yes. Now, Little Lunch is where you played Mrs. Goncha. Correct. And when children see you, it is like the Beatles. I'm like the Beatles to the to eight year olds and their parents, but now it's the next generation because these kids now are 21. But now it's the next generation. Yeah. So if I walk around, in fact, there was a funny. Oh, tell me tell a story or not? Please. Tell a story. So after when, during the lunch, I was filming. I was had a, a baby and I was walking around. I was and I was enjoying myself. I had an egg sandwich. Oh no! And I was okay. walking past the primary school and yeah. I was really enjoying myself walking my b- new baby with my egg sandwich and my coffee. And I was thinking, I love my life. It's so special. And then I had a little accident with a little windy day walking past the primary school. W-I, windy why? Yes, windy yes, why? Windy and all these kids came rushing up and oh, my God, it's Mrs. Concha. And then they smelt the egg sandwich, <gasps> accident, and they went, oh, Mrs. Concha. <laughs> Yes, and I have never lived down that day. I, I'm even I'm red now. I'm yeah, telling you about t- it. Oh, but I am like the Beatles to to kids. To my, yeah, and and an egg sandwich. <laughs> and an egg sandwich, and which is could be a lot worse. You could have shot well, yourself. I, I could have. See, could have. There's always that was, that was a lucky day. There's always worse, <laughs> isn't there? But that's hilarious. Kids TV is another world. Oh, it is. It is, and and they. They live and breathe it because it's, they think it's just for them. Yeah. So when you're a star to them, you're everything to them. Everything. Mm. And it's the kind of show, it's the kind of uh, genre that just, it never really goes away. It's yeah. like, remember that show yeah. when, and you're like, yeah, I watch it again. Like, yeah. I've got new kids that are watching it now. Yeah. Because you can just show yeah. the same thing. Yes. The Wiggles. Yep. Like, they are yep. next level they are superstars. Yep. Superstars. Like, the Beatles has yes. got nothing on them. No. So, yeah, it's a whole world of celebrity, isn't it? <laughs> totally, totally. People don't know you, but children yes. lose their tiny minds when you walk yes. in the room. And then their parents lose their tiny minds and then we have to do the little <laughs> tiny mind photos with it. You know, they're not going to go into Mrs. Concha, which is the definite double chin. Oh! <laughs> that, Mrs. Concha. You'd be good as the teacher in Matilda. Or oh, is it yes. the bad? Yeah, the oh, she's she's nasty though. Yeah, you'd be good at that. Really? Well, you're an actress and you're very but, talented. Well, you too. And you, I and know. you can sing too, so you it's, could do it. Can you sing? I can. <gasps> can you? Ba ba da ba ba da ba. You know we're going to bust out a tune. She's got, it's gonna she's got great timing. This one. <laughs> um, a true story with Hamish and Andy. Oh yeah. Sean McCarlis, mad as hell. Yeah. Doctor Blake series. Let's not talk about him. Jack mm. Irish. <laughs> Back in very small business, another yes. Robin yes. Butler and yes. Wayne Hope. Yep. Um, get cracking, yes. m- my baby, my beautiful, oh my beautiful gosh. women, yes. the Kate. Dead like, oh my god, incredible. Um, mm. And Mrs. Fisher's murder, modern, 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 mod
Oh yeah, that was that was the only thing I shot in lockdown because the only thing was shooting here. Are you sure? Because there's also Love Me. Oh, and Love Me. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the other thing. And that's most right recently, too. Gold mm. Diggers. Oh yeah, so much fun. But very recently, like presently, thank God you're here. I am. This is where you will know Heidi from. She's in the background. I it's, am. It sounds awful, but you are the ensemble. You we are. are. You guys in yes. the back yes. are really what keeps that show yep. amazing. Like it is such an amazing show. It's but great it's fun. you guys. You're the backbone. Yes. And yep. you really have to know what you're doing yep. to keep it moving. Yes. So we're not going to give away any spoilers. We're not going to yep. tell any secrets. But what, what I do want to know. I do wear a wig sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And you wear it very well. How hard is it not to laugh? Um, it's fine not to laugh because we have a job to do. Okay. You know? like yep. Professional. Um, yep. But, yeah, aren't they wonderful? They are incredible. They're incredible. Who looked, yeah, and I love the, it. And you, you really have to know your stuff and what you're doing and trust your ensemble, don't you? Completely, to, completely. Which is what I love watching the show as a performer. You're watching yes. it going. Because as, just yes. as a viewer, like as a goggle boxer, it's just such an enjoyable show to it's watch so because much fun. of the ensemble. And then yes. you've got this special guest every yes. every season, every episode, I should yes. say, that doesn't know what the hell they're about to step nobody into. Nobody knows. In fact, nobody knows what's going on. Like, the... The magic of the show is that none of us know what's going on, really. It's it's bullshit. That's what the, the kind of the tagline is. <laughs> totally. Because it started it again last week. Yes. And I'm so glad it's back because it was just such a wonderful watch. Wasn't it? it yeah, it is. I remember Josh. Josh Lawson. Who Josh was, who Lawson. was at NIDA with. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. You were at NIDA with Josh. Mm-hmm. And that's yes. hilarious. What a yes. come, like, to, you know, to come yes. around and, you know, because you'd be really quite, feel safe. He would feel safe with you in yeah. acting. Yes, absolutely. Because you would have had to do so many scenes. Oh my god, we together. had so many fun things at Nida. Oh my god, he was he was really he was young, and I was like six or seven years older than him. So I was like the mother figure to him. But it was oh, so were you like a cougar figure to him. A cougar, <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. So another show that you did, Audrey's Kitchen. Oh yeah, you had an accent in that, and it was such a great. It was very subtle. And that's yes. what I love about accents because I like do accents with a sledgehammer. You do them so well. Yeah, you do but them with all. a with a sledgehammer. The Audrey accent. Now Audrey's Kitchen was um, a short lived show. I don't know why, but Tom Gleisner yes. from yes. Working Dog. Yes. Yes. Who everyone would know as the host of Thank God. No. Well, was yeah. was the well, judge. He's but he, he wrote it and graded it. Yeah. What's the show, the show that they're on with all the panel? Um, have you been paying yeah. attention? He's the host on that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he wrote it. Yes. So he would have handpicked you. Yes. Well, actually, it started because they were doing a book and Working Dog had written this book called Audrey's Kitchen. They needed to find the Audrey, Audrey to what? The, right. And so then I did the photos for the book and then from the photos of the book we just started talking and Oh, okay. And then, and then it became a and show. It, you, you came up with yes. the character right with well, them. Well, well, no, they came up with the, the character, character but, but you came just, up with the voice and the Yes. <gasps> so from doing the photo book, but it was so beautifully written. I love doing that that show. Yeah. They did it they did a, we did we did a, we did it quite a lot for about I think two years. There was yeah. a lot of I think maybe I can't remember now, but you can't watch it on ABC iView. I hate when ABC does that. It's because yes. you know things run out of lease yes. or whatever. Yes. But I hate yes. that. You can watch it on YouTube if anyone wants to see Heidi doing her best work but with that's an funny accent. With accent, isn't it? Because we, actually, even when we're doing, it, we're going to say pasta. But if you say pasta, it's yes. funnier. But why is that? I don't know because we don't say pasta. No. Oh, well, see, I've just gone into a Liverpoolian accent. My our, our producer Rach does the. Best Liverpoolian accent I've ever heard an Australian do that mm. isn't actually from. But yes. she she's a she's a cheat because she's got grandparents that she's learnt that from. She just enjoyed the song. She knows the song. The I can't song. even do it. That was that. Song I don't know it. what that was. That was more Manchester. <laughs> that was like my chair when I did oh, it. Oh, anywhere. Oh my god. So I want to say now how I want to tell <laughs> how we met. Yes. So we, I just liked you and would follow you on Instagram. You followed me back because yes. you're that kind of a person. And um, and we would just kind of like each other's stuff and blah, blah, blah. But, but I loved you too. Yeah, I know. From afar. Yeah, Loving from afar. You. We, yeah. we loved each other from mm. afar. There was one night I came and watched you do, I really enjoyed this particular night because I was with my friend who's the head of ABC comedy and um, another couple and he would always make me go and see everything that he because he hears yes. of everything yes. and he says oh you're gonna go come and come and see this 
thing at the Melbourne Theatre Company. It's it's three plays, but it's not acted. It's just um, a reading. Mm. They're readings. Right. And his friend wrote them. Yes. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. And you're in the last one. And I, I can remember it distinctly because all the actors were great in all of them, but you were a standout and you were played a mother and there was a daughter and you both fell pregnant. Yes. Oh, that's yes. And it was such a great storyline. Yes. Of how that was going to happen. And then you had, I think you had a partner and he was gross or something. Yes. Anyway, um, I really wanted to meet you afterwards, but I have a really weird social stuff with people I've never met before. But um, I yeah. did. Just said yes. a quick hello. And yes, I think I do told- remember that. But then I went and saw the premiere of a new play at the um, Art Centre. At the Art Centre called Amelia, which still to this day is one of the best things I've ever seen. And you came out, I didn't know you were going to be in it, but you came out as Shakespeare. And I started laughing immediately and I I nudged my friend who's a casting director and I said, I love this woman so much. She's so talented. She goes, oh, my God, me too, me too. You did maybe two scenes and then all of a sudden you go, in your Shakespearean accent, oh, I've done something to my leg. And you just walked off stage. And then the rest of the cast kind of looked at each other and and then all of a sudden two other cast members came out and just stood ready for a new scene. And they just as they're about to speak, over the microphone, you will hear all the actors off stage, please, and all the actors off stage. But your mics were still on and we were at the front of the, of the like we were in the front row and we could hear you and you were going, I think something's really happening. Like we could hear you. Really? Yeah, yes, I this is something you didn't that. know because well, they hadn't turned the mics mm. off yet and then they turned them off and then we smelt Denker up because we were so close to where you'd walked off. And uh, we've all gone to each other. Oh, she's pulled a hammy. She's pulled a hammy. Yeah. And because of where the art centre is, it is like a dungeon. You can't get any reception. No. But I started to text you straight, like saying, Dal, we are watching this live. Are you okay? (laughs) But none of it's getting through to you. And then the voice came back over and said, we've had an incident. Um, One of our actors is going to be going to hospital. Um, if you give us five minutes, we're going oh. to figure out what we're going to do. So then I, oh. I'm assuming you were, you were rushed off. I was rushed off. And then everyone's doing the rhubarb, rhubarb, you know. We yes. were all in the, in the Yes. And then, um, <laughs> then the voice came back and said, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. <laughs> we are going to continue with the show and we're going to have that understudy come out and play the part of Shakespeare if everyone would like to wish um, the original actress Heidi Arena, um, the best of luck. But she came out with her book. Yes, And she did such a brilliant job. She's true. Isabella Yenna, she's amazing. Amazing. Mm. And it was was just as... I don't think as enjoyable as it would have been with you in it because the the facials that you were doing already as this creepy Mm. Shakespeare... (laughs) It was the dirty dog, this Shakespeare. She wasn't getting, but she had him in another way. Absolutely. And, you know... Um, oh my god, it's bringing it all back. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. But but what had happened? Tell us what had actually happened to you. You hadn't pulled a hamstring at all, had you? I'd torn my calf muscle, and it was just walking and talking. I know, <laughs> it was walking and talking. And then I thought, when I thought that's it, talented. Oh my god, when it snapped, though, I thought, yeah, it if, snapped. If I can keep on walking, I'll just push through the pain yeah. and just. Just keep on going. So when did it happen? It didn't happen as you just before you walked off. It had happened a couple no, of minutes earlier. In the middle of talking. Okay. In the middle of talking. Because there had been a little dancing first. There'd been yes. a song. Yeah. It hadn't happened there. Look, it was just a step or change splits. I did a <laughs> somersault. It was just like a light little dance routine. Nothing. <laughs> Cartwheel. For a 50-year-old gal. Cartwheel and a backflip. Cartwheel and Nothing back flip. big. Nothing big, big. Something that we would always do on the weekend. Yes. yes. Something I do on a Tuesday night. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so you were I, rushed to the Alfred. Yes, because I couldn't walk on it because no. every time I put any pressure on, I just collapsed. That's why I started collapsing on the thing, oh and I was trying God. to, I was trying to say calf. But I kept saying shin. Do you yes, remember? Yes, shin, which but is I in the front. I was so almost blacking pain, out with yeah. the pain, going, I oh. can't remember what it is, but it's something. And I was trying to do the accent and get off the stage. And I can't imagine that Denka rub would have helped. Nothing. No, <laughs> it would have made it work. I was sitting in the wings, and I was, they put me in a chair. And I say, I'm not sure what's, I'm not sure what's going, but you know, I, I need some ice. I need help. 
And then they were pulling off my wig and everything. I said, don't worry about the wig. Don't worry about the microphone. Just get me some. But I realised they were getting my wig off to put on the understudy to get it back to on. To get it, yeah, so to I wasn't the even show cold. going. I wasn't even cold. And they were like going, next, on, on. <laughs> The show must go the on, show darling. Must go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You've been replaced. Yes. Five, six, Why seven, are you eight. still here? <laughs> you, as a fifty-year-old woman, you've had yes. a huge career, which we've just talked about. Yes. Yes. What? What do you feel now in your life? Where are you right now in your emotional, spiritual, and professional life? Oh my God, I love that question. See, that's the sort of questions you ask, and I love them. Thank you. So 50, I feel, and we've talked about this a little bit Mm. um, as friends, I feel so grateful to be here. I feel so fantastic to be 50 Mm -hmm. because I believe in myself. I feel like I've got a lot to say, and I don't care anymore who wants to listen to and who doesn't. I'm going to say it. Whereas before, I think when you're in your 30s, it's a very different age of where you're still trying to find people that want to um, validate what you've got to say. And I yes. feel like collaborating now with amazing women yes. a- around our ages is so exciting to me. And seeing it more is is inspiring. It's kind of this cycle, isn't it? Totally. You're a part of it. Yeah. Uh, you inspire someone yes. and then they do something and that inspires yes. you or inspires yes. someone completely that you'll never, ever meet. Yes. Um, you get inspired by someone that you'll never, ever meet yes. or will never know what they've done to you. But yes. Isn't it amazing to think that you're mm. a part of that? Absolutely. And it's so wonderful. You're a part of that. Yeah. You're writing yes. women's, you know, um, yes. Shows to celebrate shows. women and, yeah. and and all different types of women and fabulous women and angry women yeah. and funny women and sad women. Yeah, all real. different types of women, you know. I really want to mm. talk um, yeah. about menopause and perimenopause with yes. you because yeah. you're going through the same thing that I'm yeah. going through. And yeah. um, I <laughs> was having... It's so much fun, guys. Come along. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> I was at the dog park the other day talking about it to mm. one of the ladies that I see there all the yeah. time. She's young. Yeah. And she said to me, you know what, I... I've just started hearing about this and I don't, I still don't know anything about it. I said, go and ask your mum, is your mum alive? Yes. And she said, yeah. And I said, because mine isn't. And yes. when I when I got my menopause, um, I I hadn't asked. Yes. Because if you resemble your mother in any way, yes. that's the one you want to ask. How did you do? What did you do? Yes. What was it that happened? Yes. And she said to me, I do. I am. My mum and I are pretty similar in body shape. And wow. I said, me, I was same. as well. Yep. Now, you lost your mother at the same With the same time. Same time as me. Yes. Unbeknownst to either of no. us. No. Unbelievable. No. Unbelievable. Had you asked your mother? No, I hadn't really. I hadn't. And I think that's what's great about it now is we're having the discussion. Yeah. Like, I can't stop talking about it. I'll see someone in the supermarket and go, guess yeah. what? I'm in menopause. Yeah. How's your day? <laughs> How's your day? <laughs> because mine's hot. Because mine's hot. <laughs> mine's really hot. I've started following all these amazing <laughs> um, profiles and things that I'm sharing. Yeah. I, I am loath a little, maybe mm. not loath, a bit wary mm. to share them on because I don't want to yes, yes, be that person. You know, there's certain people that just bang on about the one disorder that they have that is yep. new and it's like, yeah, 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 we, you've yep. got ADHD, like, yay. Yes. It, it's all wonderful, but, you know, it's yes. not your – It's not. don't let it yeah. define you. No. Um, which is an awful thing to say, yeah. and I hope I haven't offended people by saying that, and I hope people who may have been offended by what I just said then, I didn't mean that as a – um, as a go no. at someone, but that whole I, I know for a fact I've I've slipped two discs in my back and mm. I've had other you know things and I did let it define me. Yes, I talked only about things like that and yes. all I know is that if you focus on something that's really really bad all the time, yes, you get stuck. Yeah, and then you see people posting about those particularly. It's like yeah yeah yes. yeah. yeah. And I, I hate that I skip because yes. I'm like, oh, I don't have ADHD. So yes. I've, I love the awareness, but yes. not this much. So I don't want to be the perimenopause lady no. that's just bombarding. Totally. But I think that about lots of things. You were talking, we're talking also about, you know, um, be, uh, having weight and being an actor and lots of stuff. I want to be the poster child for weight or for this or for yeah. that or for menopause, for anything. I want to be a woman that talks about all different things all and, 
and different days I feel different about it too. Yes. But I don't want to be defined by it yes. either. And like you don't, you know. When I left the jungle and I had done a speech in there about <laughs> yes. not refusing to do the weigh-in. Yeah. And it went viral. It was fantastic. Yeah. But it was th- it was a fork in the road. Yeah. T- for me. And I was approached, you know, you want to be the yes. basically the poster child for yep. fat positivity. Yeah. And I said no. Yeah. I do, but I don't. Yes. Um and then I got approached by Weight Watchers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which is hilarious. Yes. My manager was like, Do you do you want to even know what they're offering? offering? And I went, Absolutely oh, yes, I, not. Oh, I, I said, know because what, if what they I'm knew <laughs> if I know what the money is, yes. it's I'm gonna think about it. Yeah. And I I said, Do not tell God, me I love the money. Your integrity. But I love it. You know who that job went to? Who? And now I know it would have been a lot of money. What? Jackie O. Oh my God! You or Jackie O? Oh, shit! Imagine the oh money I've God. just given we're up. We're in New York now, not not in bloody <gasps> South Melbourne. You didn't think of us when you I made really, your decision of integrity. I really didn't. <laughs> you know, when I was twenty, I did. Um, what was the other one that's just gone under? Wait. Um. Uh, yes, Jenny Craig. Jenny Craig, mm. and I did just did Jenny Craig, oh ended up working for them, but they asked me to do a two-page spread in the Cosmopolitan. Oh, right. Okay. And I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to show my before my photo, photo because I was so embarrassed. Yes. How dumb. And the before and after, what is that even anyway? You know? And one is good and one is bad. You've got lots of integrity because I would have gone for the money. Yeah. And I would have... Um, I had to buy all the Cosmopolitan so nobody saw my before photo. So I would have done it and <laughs> I lost stolen all your money. the money. <laughs> stolen, lost all my money. Well, the thing is that when the Weight Watchers, uh, you know, mm. when when I came out of the jungle and, and we got started getting all this work, and my manager and yes. I had, we ha- kind of had to sit down. Got you and do in this. the jungle. Oh, thank That's you. That's why it was I fell in love with you in the jungle. Yes. Yes. I was I was a very lucky edited girl. But it's you. You're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're fabulous. That, but you they know didn't what I mean? show anything bad. We well, don't. You don't have bad. Oh, you don't do bad. Oh, she's got bad. Oh, baby. she does. It's only on weekends. It's okay. Ah, <laughs> only on a Tuesday. Um, that was that was the other day. So it's go. It's gone for now. Um, but you know, um, me and my manager had to have this conversation. I didn't know it mm. kind of even existed. Yeah. She said, "But moving forward, yeah. what are your no's?" And your absolute. That's great. You even asked that question. Well, she was like, when you're doing, you know, radio, TV, you're going to be asked to endorse things. Yes. What What things am I yes. going to say no to immediately? And yeah, I went, wow. oh, I want to say no to gambling. Yeah. Uh, I want yep. to say no to anything to do with the weight loss industry. Yeah. Or anything to do with the fitness industry. And she went, yep. wait, why fitness? I went, because it's the same as the weight loss industry. It's, she it's, goes, no, it's not. It is. And I said, it is. It's the it other is. end of the um the tape <laughs> around your end. waist. It's yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. the other end of the tape measure. <laughs> I said, it is just one burpee away from an eating disorder. I'm sorry. But it is. It she is. disagreed with me, which is yeah. fine. Yeah. But she is a thin-bodied woman. Her mother was a ballerina, professional ballerina. Right. So you can imagine what my yes. manager looks like yes. and what her yes. upbringing would have been. Yes. And she still believes yes. that, you know, you can you, you can die, you should die it, you know, yeah. and that kind of thing, which is yeah. a real source of contention yes. for me because yes. it's like, you're my manager. Yes. You need to. But she doesn't. She doesn't need to but think. that's okay, don't you reckon, too, if you can have different, like I, like yeah. you're great. You don't. You don't make people believe what you believe. You believe what you believe and you stick by it and you stand by it. And I'm kind of the same as yeah. in I can't convince anybody else how I think. You know what I mean? But, that sort of, yeah, and you inspire people by thinking the way you are. Yeah, and you don't budge. You, you, what you, you really stand by it. You are who you are and I, that's what I adore about you. That's what everybody adores about you because you, you, your your integrity is 100%. Thanks, lady. Do you know what I mean? That, that's, I do. And it's hard to – I mean, I've got a, a beautiful skinny sister who – runs when she's anxious and I will eat when I'm anxious mm-hmm. and everyone's got mm-hmm. their thing, whatever Everyone, it is. Yeah. That's and that's right. okay. I don't judge her and she doesn't, well, actually she probably does judge, <laughs> judge me, but I love her dearly. And she loves you dearly. But she loves me dearly. But, you know, everyone's got their own, you know, thing. What do you, you have a teenage daughter? I do, yes. What What have you learned as far as being a mother to a teenage daughter and a teenage son? Is you're about to have a teenage son. Yes. Yeah, he's 11. Um, I don't ever talk about weight. <sighs> Um, I don't, um, I don't wear makeup at home. Um, I've got a, a daughter who's naturally thin, like her father. Um, but it's really interesting because I've got all the, you know, and she's very proud of me, I think. Yeah. Um, 
And but you let them eat anything they want, don't you? Like you let you allow yeah. them to yes. make those choices. Absolutely. Listen to their bodies. Absolutely. And I say, you know, like lollies we were talking about before, lollies are sometimes <gasps> food because they're not good for your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. But never, well, you know. Believe me. I was just telling um, Heidi mm. off air how um, I've only ever had my first filling two years ago and it was after the first <laughs> season of Snack Masters when I mm. started had to eat lollies on camera. And it wasn't on camera. I was eating lollies off camera. I've yeah. never been a lolly You're eater. Not a lolly eater. But you know why? I've, I, I've said this before. Yes. If anyone's a long-time listener of this pod, they'll remember. Yes. But I don't know what it's called. Um, I think we had a few listeners DM Um when you get this squeaky what f- feeling and sound in your um what are these glands, glands. under your cheek yes oh yes your glands they squeak and what? and i have severe pain when i eat really sweet lollies really yeah and I always have ever since i was a child wow. so we had a corner store so we could you know eat lollies if and we you, wanted but, but i you couldn't weren't, no you weren't allowed to i wouldn't mm. it, it did i didn't that, it hurt. It yes. hurt to do it. Wow. Yeah. So um, second filling only came last year after the second series of, of Snake Isn't Master. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. And I think I'm about to get a third because while I was away yes. on the weekend, yes. a bit into a pe- something, yes. we were all eating dinner on the Sunday night yes. and it was a roast and I bit into something. And you and wait it, for something crack? And, well, it was a, a nerve pain and mm. everyone was like, what's going on? Because I'm just like, oh, I'm excited about the Matildas. Yeah. No. <laughs> they were like, what's happening? I was like, oh. My. So Awful. I made an appointment immediately yes. because I'm not letting that happen again. No, no. Anyway, that is so boring. Why don't I just talk about my teeth? It's okay because teeth are... So we're talking about lollies and we're talking about yes, raising yes. children. We're yes. talking about being... Um, it's a tricky thing. They're raising kids and, and you know, I, I feel more protective over... Girls in a way, but even though it happens with boys as well, but um, not to be a, a bos- body positive, just body neutral. Yeah, you know what I mean. Body, body accepting. Body accepting. That's it. Yeah. Body accepting. Accept whatever your body is. Accept yes. it. Yeah. Don't yeah. try to change it. Yeah. The amount of times yeah. we try to change. Yeah. And and it's not just the way our body is. It's you know it's funny because in the fitness industry, yes. the the language they use is. Push, push through, push harder, yes. go harder. Yes. You've got to train hard. You've got yes. to do the work. Yes. You've got to work hard. Yes. And it's like, for me, it's a, such a negative way of speaking because yes. what you're telling another human to do is work really hard to change your natural body, Mm-mm. which is your natural body. Yes. And yes. we don't accept that. No. So I want you to work so hard, 24 hours a day, whether it be what you think about mm. or what you physically are doing mm. in your with your eating or with your exercise, yes. you are going to become obsessed with changing the way you look yes. by going to any me- means necessary, even if you think it's healthy, to change your body shape, yes. which is what genetically you're supposed to be looking like Mm -mm. and then you if you just accepted that Mm -mm. and moved on you could work on your personality you could go study you could work on all of these things that you could excel at yes yes um, and and realize that you are still healthy yes you don't have any serious illnesses (laughs) totally there's nothing wrong with you but that's not you know like i love going for walks and we love doing all that's it's it's different for completely different reasons yeah movement is so incredibly important for our well being, yes, and our health, but yes. that push come on, yes. feel the burn, yes, it's so negative, yes, it's yeah. so it, it, it's but I love a yoga with my legs up the wall and a bit of a relax, that's a lovely thing. Oh, you know what? I love doing <laughs> kicking my leg forward and then kicking it back, and I get this, <gasps> do you? That's a little ballet thing, it is a little ballet thing, mm. yeah. So, we talked about you wrote a show with your best friend Nicola Parry. Nicola Parry We've yes. spoken about that. We've spoken but you do the on ense- you did the ensemble with her on Thank God yes. You're Here. But so you've worked with her also on Thank God You're Here last couple of seasons yes. and you're both back. Yes. She's not in as many because she's because she's in Sydney, but yeah. she's um definitely a part of the the ensemble this time and it's so great because it's a fifth series. Fifth. And we're together again and we just adore each other and we write together and um, so it's actually just great fun to see each other and do, you know, it's like an old muscle yes. that you know that you're no, doing no, it again. You're not allowed to talk about any yeah. secrets of the show yes. and we're certainly not going to be giving yeah. any away. But you're, that's the magic of the show. We, we don't even know things. No, that's it. <laughs> None of us know. But 
being in yes. the ensemble last time and yes. this time, this time you're pro, you're the old gals. We're the old gals. Do the young crew look to you and the, say, ask you questions? They are divine. It's so exciting. We, I, yeah. I, that's why I love what we do because yeah. we work with all different ages. Yes. And, and I love it. They, they are the most divine, open-minded um, really different people, you know, all different shapes and sizes, eth- ethnicities, um, whole things. So, but do they ask you for advice? Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They and really do. They love do. it. When they you give love it. it. They love it. And I love doing scenes with them because we sort of clock in, going, you know, I'm handing the banner kind of to them, and and you know, it's just it's, just, it's fantastic. Can I ask you yeah. how you how you don't laugh? I mean, because it's just a job. No, it's not just just a job. How do you not laugh? Because we just stay in. You know, like when we're acting, you have to stay in. Yeah. That's what I mean. The in scene. That it's just a job. Yes. Like you keep saying to yes. you, I'm working right now. Yes. I can't cry. I'm in the world that I am in. So if I'm a doctor in this scene, then I'm a doctor. Yeah. You know, like when we when we, we act, we, you know. Have you ever laughed broken? a lot? Yeah. Not on thank God. I have in other yeah. things. Yeah. But Lots not on of, thank God. No. Because I think it's because it's live and it's fast. Yeah. And can't. really we're there to support whoever's walking yeah. through the door. So if we laugh, we, we ruin it w- ruin it for them. So I'm very conscious of just being present for them. God, and there must be a real audition process for that, like of people being funny in front of you yeah. to see if you don't crack. Is yeah, well well I think it's just it's just professionalism, you know, and if I any of us do it. If, well, I'm a giggler normally. Yeah. But I think in this circumstance you'd be you'd be you'd be fantastic. I mean, you'd be fantastic through the door. Yeah. Um you know, I think you'd be fine. You would be. I, I when I watch it now yes. because I know you, I'm watching yes. you. Yes. But right at the end of every scene that you're in, yes. when it when they like, yes. yay, and that's it. I always watch you and you hug them. You hug them like what? you are such a lovely. And then you laugh. You let it out. What? Then <laughs> I watched that Fifi box one. Oh, yes. Like you did so well because you were her right yes. left hand yes. woman. And right at the end, you burst out laughing when you're allowed to. Yes. And then she looked straight at you and laughed as well. And because and we gave know you each the, other. Like, you know, I I've, loved I've, that. I've worked with all these people for so many years. It's so beautiful to reconnect, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like this, and all that anxiety before yes. they go. And then they're so relieved. It's all that, you know, like breathe out. But, breathe out. But what I was going to say to you, I love um, being this age now mm. and working and collaborating, like you and I have talked about doing things. Mm-hmm. Nicola uh, and I are doing, you know, um, a film that we're filming next yes. year, which is so exciting. So exciting. About all women. And it's just so great to collaborate with all these different fabulous people. I feel like now we've got this muscle. Yeah. And this voice. And we've got a, we've got an audience. And we've got an audience. Oh, it's my God. Proven. It is such an audience. Yeah. You know, I was looking at statistics the other day about people, women, women go to films. Yeah. More than men. Yes. You know, like it's just... Start it's, making them for us. Exactly. Exactly. It's the gays as well, isn't it? Totally. Totally. And through. the Bechdel test yes. is another really important... Yes. You know, how many films fail that is yes. still insane. Yes. But we're changing that. We're changing it. And yep. you're changing it. Yeah. And I'm happy with you. Good. I'm happy I'm proud because, of you. Oh, I love you. I love you. You're such an amazing, inspiring person. You and too. I just love, I just, I just, I'm so grateful that you've come into my life. Thank you for being in it and staying in it for the rest oh, of it. Oh my gosh, I'm punching the air. If you could see me, I'm punching the air. <laughs> we, we, She's not. <laughs> just, just saying. But like, you know, she could actually punch the air for me, but whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. I saw it. I'm so 50. I could break something. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to just say then? I was going to say, you it know, it was about me. It was about you. <laughs> You she know, I mean, everybody listening knows that when you meet a funny chops, yeah. a smart chops, yes. a kind chops, yes, um, you just have to hold on because this is the gold. I love that. On that note, um, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. And thank you to everyone listening. I know that you'll love Heidi, that you've already fallen completely in love with Heidi Arena. Um, no... No relation to Tina or Pina. Um, please follow. We will put our Heidi's handle up on Heidi's handle. Yeah, that's what they call it. What's the handle? Your profile. Oh, it's your my profile. handle. It's your handle. I'm a little handle, short and stout. Yeah, that we are. Hmm. Here is my handle. Here is my other handle. We are just a cup. We're just a pair of handles. I don't have a spell. I let nothing out. Oh, actually, I let every. But it's out at the top, isn't it? Because I'm a cup. Anyway, rate, review and subscribe. Adore you. Follow.
Hello, Heidi. Love you. I'll be in your ear hole next week. <laughs>